Hello, welcome to Cloud Learning Channel. In this module, we will uh, talk about uh, cloud functions uh, in Google Cloud Platform. And uh, I will show you guys how to create a cloud functions in a Google Cloud Platform using Google Cloud Console. And I will also give you guys a few details about what are a Google Cloud function and uh, how do we trigger this function based on the event type. So I will log into uh, Google Cloud Console. I logged into Google Cloud Console that uh, before I deploy a cloud function, I want to give you guys a few details about the cloud function. So let me just go to search option, just to type cloud function, and we should be able to see the cloud function options um, in the search. And once we see that option, we need to select here. We can see that the cloud function and click on cloud function. And let's talk about what are cloud functions. Uh, Google Cloud Functions is a serverless execution environment for building and connecting cloud services. And uh, with this cloud function, well, we can write a simple and a single purpose functions uh, that are attached to events emitted from our cloud infrastructure and services. And our function is triggered when an event being watched is fired. So our code executes in a fully managed environment. And also there is no need to provision any infrastructure or worry about managing any servers. And we can write uh, a cloud functions uh, using number of supported programming languages. So we can take our function and uh, run it in any standard runtime environment. So, and also cloud functions offers two product functions. One is first gen and the second one is uh, second gen. And first gen is the original version. And the second gen is the new version built on cloud run and uh, I even taught to provide an enhanced feature set. Okay, so let me show you guys how to create a function. And here we see couple of option, a uh, couple of options here. One is create function on top of the page and one the create function in the middle of the page. So we can uh, click on either one to create the function. So both can take you to the same page. So now before that, we need to enable the APIs. Make sure if you want to deploy a cloud functions, we you must enable the APIs. And here, uh, as I mentioned, uh, two of uh, two product versions available first gen and second gen first gen is the original version and the second gen is the latest one so i will select the first gen or i can also select the second gen it doesn't matter so i will just uh, uh, create a function name as function 01 and select the the region as us east one uh, that is located in south carolina and uh, require authentication yes and uh, allow all the https uh, connections and now add event type uh oh okay sorry so let, let me just uh, select the first gen so that it gives you guys like you know a better detail so and here we can uh, see the trigger type like you know what are the trigger types we have http trigger and cloud uh pops up or cloud storage cloud file store so in this module and i'll show you guys uh how to uh, create a uh, function uh, based on cloud storage trigger so how does it work so we can uh, we can specify a cloud storage trigger when we deploy a function so how does it work so let me tell you guys like you know how does it work in in a cloud functions a cloud storage trigger enables a function to be called in response to changes in cloud storage so I will just select a cloud storage. And when when we specify a cloud storage trigger for a function, we choose an event type and specify a cloud storage bucket. So here we see four event types, uh, archiving file in the selected bucket, or, or deleting file in the selected bucket, or finalizing creating a file or metadata update file in the bucket. So now I'll just say create whenever create a file in bucket and we want this uh, function trigger. So our function will be called whenever a change occurs 
on an object within the specified bucket. So here our event type is finalizing or creating file in the selector bucket. So which bucket? We need to specify the bucket here. So I will specify the bucket, a travel bucket, and whenever a file create, created in this bucket, I want my function will be called. Okay, so now select this bucket. And here we see option retry on failure as i want like you know retry on failure so here we see the warning and our function will retry on a failure for up to seven days even if it is due to a bug in our code so i will just uh, save this but before i save this so i will just uh, uh, go through this runtime build connections and security setting so that you can get a better understanding what are these settings for and memory allocated we have about like an 8 gb so 1 gb 2 gb so if you want to increase your uh, memory allocation just uh, select the other option whatever whatever memory you want and also the timeout you can select in seconds and auto scaling up to 3000 and everything looks good here click on build it looks good connections and if you want to allow all traffic just select this option or if you want to choose like you know the other option just select that option and the security and uh, you want like encryption based on google managed encryption or if you want to use um, a customer managed you can select that option so everything looks good here so i just i'll just save here and then move to next page so where i we can write our custom code if we want but uh, everything looks good here so now i will just deploy this uh, cloud function here so it should be available uh, it just takes few minutes uh, to create it and here we see all the details about our cloud function and here if you want to see the matrix so invoc invocations uh, in the second so here you can select either six hours and if you want to see like in last 12 hours and just click on that and here we see the execution time and also memory utilization. So here, like, you know, collapse the chart if you want, and you can also view the chart in full screen. And also here, if you want to download a CSV file or PNG, we, you can download it and all the active instances. So we can see all the details. So if you want to click on this, like, you know, then here it, it can, uh, uh, you can see like you know all the list of list of functions available uh, in your cloud functions like you know right now we just deployed one function and that, that is uh, trigger type is like you know whenever a file uh, created in a, a travel bucket then uh, our function will be called. So right now it's still generating and if you want to like you know look at other details you can click on the detail so here you can see that um, uh, ingress settings, all traffic and uh, project IDs. And also we can see that uh, the memory allocation. So now if you want to edit this function and uh, you can just click on edit. And uh, now you want to make some changes in this uh, a function. So let's see what are the, what, what is the, uh, what is the function that you created? So we created a function based on the trigger type is cloud storage. And what is the event time? Finalizing or creating file in the selected bucket and also retry. So now let's just click on the, the bucket. So, and here we see the the all the list of buckets uh, and all the list of files available in our bucket. So now I'll just go back and I want to go back to the cloud function page. So I'll, if you, you can just go back or just click on cloud function and it will take you to uh, it will take you to the, the cloud function page. So just click on cloud functions here and uh, click on the function and uh, click on the, the edit. If you want to make any changes, uh, you can make it and uh, close this and click on the edit. So here, if you want to change the event type, you can select, let's say, I don't want uh, a function will be called when the file created, but I want this um, a function called when a file deleted in this bucket. And also you can, select a different bucket if you want so right now i have a uh, travel bucket and other bucket so now i want the diamond bucket to be uh like you know whenever a file deleted in this bucket and i want this function to be called so i want this function will be called so 
just save this. Now all the changes looks good. Now just deploy it. So this is how you can edit the function once you deploy it. And this is how you can uh, update the event type and you can update the, the bucket type uh, if you deploy a function based on the, the cloud storage trigger. If you have any questions about these cloud functions, what are these cloud functions, what are Google cloud functions, and how, what are these uh, HTTP triggers or cloud storage triggers or cloud Firestore triggers, and how to deploy these uh, cloud functions uh, in Google Cloud Platform using Google Cloud Console. If you are getting any error, or if you have any questions about like, you know, connecting to cloud function, and uh, please do not hesitate, please post all your questions in the comments and I'll try to reply as soon as possible. If you like this video, please subscribe and share the channel. Thank you.